Dude, this is a beautiful place. Hello you guys, so I am going to Vietnam for two weeks and I'm leaving tomorrow. So I haven't packed anything yet, um, partially because of procrastination, but I'm also gonna blame it on the fact that I was filming and editing my plant tour. So that way I have some videos to post while I am in Vietnam. Okay. <laughs> I'll miss you, Theo. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Oh. Hey, you're going crazy. We've arrived in Hanoi. Hanoi is in the north of Vietnam and my family is from the south. So this is my first time and my dad's first time visiting the north. So it's kind of fun that we get to experience this together. The buildings here are really interesting. Like they're very close together and old and have a lot of character. We're in a taxi right now and we are heading to our hotel. So we made it to Hanoi. We're in our hotel. Are you the book? There's my dad. <laughs> hotel room is pretty small. Got this. But it's nice. There's this little window that looks out into someone else's window. <laughs> and then I think the bathroom is the nicest part of this whole place. My dad hasn't slept in like 40 hours or something. <laughs> so what do you want to do? You want to eat and then yeah. go to sleep? Yeah, I'm okay. fine. Eat. Okay, okay, we will see what we'll do, I'm not sure. I don't even coffee. So I think we found our restaurant. Yeah, this is Hanoi. This is my bun ryu. Oh, nice, that's amazing. And then my dad got like the combination one. So what is this? It's like a shrimp, like a shrimp uh, soup. Crab. Crab meat? Crab. Is it just crab or shrimp too? Crab or shrimp. Crab, shrimp soup. Look at my. What is that? Snail. <laughs> and then. And then. Uh, tofu and what is that? Cold I wanted to try the bun ryu, and I finished it by the way. Um, but I wanted to try it because my mom makes it a lot, and it's one of my favorite foods that she makes, and. Uh, yeah, I wanted to try it in Vietnam to see how they make it, and I think that hers is better. How's your food, Dad? Not too bad. <laughs> is it better than mom's or no? Of course, mom's better. Mom, no, it's better, but she gave a lot more. Yeah, these are so good. Um, I rarely have these in the U.S., so I'm happy to eat them now. We're walking back to our hotel. Where's our hotel? It is the next day and we are gonna go walk around Old Town, which is like the walkable city center area of Hanoi. And then we are going to get coffee and get breakfast and then see some sights. <laughs> Passport. <laughs> We're on the roof of our hotel. So I got these drums out and I think he's gonna play music for us, so kind of confused. So we just finished our morning coffee and now we're going to the lake. Um, yeah, uh, dad made friends and they paid for our drinks and then we also got a special performance by the owner of the cafe. Let's find new friends. Yeah, okay, <laughs> finding new friends, okay. I think that this is a temple, so we got our tickets and then we're gonna go in there. Check it out. 
Ini sebelum kiri. It's a real turtle. We thought it was um, just like a fake myth turtle, right? Uh, they realized it was real. Like when it was alive, I guess. Yeah. And that's him now. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all of this fruit. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The dragon fruit looks so nice. So we just went through some gift shop things and now we are looking for a place to eat. We still haven't eaten yet. And there's this fruit shop. And my dad's on FaceTime with my mom right now because my mom like <laughs> loves fruit. Um, and yeah, she's like crying on the phone. <laughs> We're gonna try this fruit. I don't know what it is. My dad says it's called milk fruit. Yeah. Never had it before. It looks good though. Eighty for one yeah. or no, pound? pound? We just bought the fruit and it was like three dollars for two pounds, which is pretty good. Um, at least I think we might be getting ripped off. Also, I'm holding the camera so close to my face. Wait. Also, I'm holding the camera so close to my face because I feel like you guys can't hear me if it's far away like this. Since there's so much background noise, we found a restaurant. Um, they serve bun cha. I don't really know what that is, but I'll show you guys. <laughs> but yeah, here's our haul that we got of fruit. Have you had it before? Yeah, when we were young, yes. Mmm, I think it looks good. Is it good? The food here is like, so good. It's also a lot cooler here, like it's not hot and like I'm not sweating all the time, which is a lot different from Saigon and South Vietnam. Um, in South Vietnam, it's like over 90 degrees Fahrenheit all the time and it's super humid, but I think up north, it can get pretty cold. Like today, I think is around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna get a coffee again and I heard that this one is pretty popular. Dude, this is actually the best one. Look at these plants, you guys. They're like growing on the wall. <laughs> okay, so we're on the balcony area. It's like super crowded in here. I think it's a really popular place. Egg coffee. Here's egg coffee round two. Yeah, last time we got it cold, but I think hot is better. It kind of reminds me of like, um, like melted ice cream almost. Like that's the best way I can describe it. Um, and it's really good. Okay, actually, I thought of a better description. It's kind of like um, melted down marshmallow. Yeah. One of my friends on TikTok told me to go to this to this uh, thrift store. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out. My dad and I stumbled upon the shop, and they have some really cool stuff in here. Their goods are from ethnic minority groups in Vietnam, and I didn't know this until a few years ago, but Vietnam has a large population of ethnic minorities. There are 53 ethnic minority groups, and I believe they make up around 13% of the population. I really like this one. That's cool. The black one is water, mm. and the, the green one is uh, wood. Okay. And it's um, guards of property. Oh. I'm gonna get this blanket. It's handmade. Look at that pattern. Are we going, Dad? To um, Nenben. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. The bus ride is about um, three hours, I think. 
and so I'm going to read on my Kindle. I've been reading Jade City by Fonda Lee, um, and I've been reading a lot during like transportation and stuff, like on the airplane or buses or taxis, and yeah, it's been really nice. I really, really like this book. As you guys know, I like reading fantasy stuff, and this is the first fantasy book that I've read that takes place in like an Asian city. Um, so it's really refreshing. As I read it, I imagine that it's set in a place similar looking and feeling to um, Saigon or Hanoi. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Very immersive feeling. In the LGBT community, they dance and, and they sing and they're so loud. Because they believe that when somebody passes away, we should be happy for them in the because they live in a, a, another life. We should be happy for them. It's so pretty. He has a 72. We're gonna head back down the mountain um, and see what else there is. I'm like shaking because I'm so tired. I think my legs are like <laughs> trying to calm down. <laughs> we just stopped to eat and now we're gonna ride these bikes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello you guys, we got back home from how long? Wait no, from Nin Ninbin um, and my legs are so sore like I can't feel them. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to Halong Bay and we are also going to be doing more of the same I think like hiking and sightseeing. I also bought new pants and it doesn't fit. Um, and I didn't want to try it on in the store because I felt awkward doing it. So yeah, okay. Oh wow, look at my shadow. Okay, um, good night. We are waiting outside to get picked up for our tour to Halong Bay. We got our coffees. We get coffee every morning. Trying to take in some inspiration for the plants. Wait, where's my dad? Okay, and I was asking him like, what plant is that? Because they're just like a ton of really pretty plants. Oh, it's a bougainvillea too? Yeah, they, um, they bloom in summer, yeah. I really like the um, bougainvilleas here. Check this out. I like how they're all just vining and climbing like that. I want that at the new house. Okay, this one is huge. Okay, so we're in a kayak. I'm like really tired. I feel like I'm gonna fall off. My dad's doing all the work. He said I can just record. Those are our friends. We made some friends. <laughs> That's T and I don't remember actually. Can you give some commentary, Dad? How? Uh, what do you think of this place? Uh, what do you think? It is a beautiful place. <laughs> I wish you guys are here. I wish mom and the kids are here. And uh, I don't know what to say, but... It's nice. Nice. Uh, I don't know what it is called. How long Bay? Oh, How Long Bay? This part of it? Yeah. And... Uh, I'm taking the picture of my beautiful son, Benjamin. And what are you doing, Benjamin? I am rowing this boat. Your first time, huh? Speed boat too. Wow. It's very beautiful, very beautiful place. Uh, good weather. All the people here are really happy and they all want to be here. Thank mm -hmm. you.
That's it for this vlog. There are two more Vietnam vlogs coming up and I'm really excited for you guys to see those. Then after that, we'll have some videos at the new house. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.